Hey guys, Kim here. And here is Annabelle having breakfast. I have mastered the one-handed bottle feeding. Quite the skill if you ask me. But I don't know if you guys can tell, I am exhausted, so please excuse my appearance. Um, but last night Annabelle had a fever again. It was just a very low fever. It was just 101.7 I think was the highest that it did get. Um, and it was kind of too late to really take her anywhere and it wasn't that high that it was like emergency room time or anything. She was acting okay. But this morning she still has a little bit of a fever. It's about 100.4 which isn't much but still in a three month old it's kind of concerning especially since she was so sick just last week. And she's not on her antibiotic anymore so she should be better but kind of thinking maybe the UTI isn't completely gone and it's kind of coming back. Maybe the antibiotic didn't take it long enough or she spit out too much of it. I don't know. So we're going back to the doctor today at 1245 and I'm thinking they're probably going to have to put a catheter in her again which is the most probably, well, painful thing for her but painful thing to watch because she just screams her little head off and it's just awful to watch and I have to like hold her down so but I'm thinking they're probably going to do that to make sure she doesn't still have a UTI and if she does I'm hoping it'll just be as simple as putting her back on an antibiotic that sort of thing but I did not sleep at all last night because I was so worried that she was going to wake up and have a fever of 104 and we were going to be driving to the ER at 2 in the morning and I just couldn't sleep so I was up like every 45 minutes and I'd look at the monitor and I couldn't tell if she was breathing so I'd go in the room and I'd put my hand on her and I'd feel her head and make sure she wasn't too hot and she was fine she slept the whole night through but I'm exhausted so after she eats here I'm going to maybe try to take a little nap get a little something to eat and then go to the doctor and see what they have to say. Alright so for breakfast I'm going to make some carrot cake pancakes. These are like exactly the same as my spinach pancakes that I made in my last video but you use carrot instead of spinach. So I have grated carrot here and I just used like a little cheese grater thing. It's kind of a pain in the butt but it works. And in here I just have about half a cup of egg a tiny bit of milk, which is optional, you don't need the milk, it just makes it a little creamier. A buttload of cinnamon and a little bit of baking powder and then one scoop of Quest Vanilla Milkshake Protein Powder. If you use a different protein powder, I would just start with a little bit less egg because Quest Protein is very, very thick. Then I add about, I don't know, anywhere from like 75 to 100 grams of carrot which is like no calories at all. So there's 95 grams and I just mix that up, cook it on the stove and I will have probably like 10 pancakes I get out of this. Just to clarify when I said that I get 10 pancakes, I do make them very small as you can see but that's just how I like to make my pancakes. I feel like you get more and if you did regular size pancakes I guess you'd probably get like five-ish, I don't know. But there's six there and then I still have all the rest of this batter left. So I think I'll get another four out of there and have ten total. Yay math. So here I have my ten pancakes. How delicious do those look? And I will put a little bit of sugar-free syrup and a little bit of salt on them. I know I put syrup and salt on everything but it makes everything sweet and salty. And trust me, it's good even on your pancakes. A little bit of salt is key. So I'm going to eat those quickly. And then get this one ready to go. Of course, just fell asleep and I hate to wake her up to get her changed. But I'm going to eat first and then get her all ready. Annabelle. Annabelle. I don't want to go. Want to go to the doctor? Want to go see the doctor? I'd say that's a big fat no. So trying to rush out the door here, I just remembered that I need to go to the store so I'd rather do that before the appointment rather than afterwards because I love her doctors, she has like five doctors, but they are not always the fastest so I don't want to be stuck there forever. That being said, I'm also bringing a bunch of snacks with me. I do not feel hungry at all, I've said it before when I'm stressed or worried I don't feel like eating. 
but I know I need to. So I'm bringing all the peanut butter and jelly snacks. So I have peanut butter and jelly little bites, have a peanut butter and jelly quest bar, and I have peanut butter and jelly crackers. And this is the big snack pack. So you get an extra two crackers. So I'm gonna bring all of those. I'm going to bring Annabelle, of course. She's looking super stylish today in her pink leopard with her donut binky. Very fabulous, matching pink blanket. And we are ready to go. The perks of having a child when going to the grocery store. And yes, if this spot is available, I always take it. So just like with everything in life, I am very early to the appointment. I like rush around the grocery store like a freak and have plenty of time. But I went in there for diapers and rice cakes and bought a whole bunch of crap I didn't need. But a couple things that I'm pretty excited about, so I'm gonna show you. First of all is some apple cider tea. I am loving tea lately. Not more than coffee, but I like that it's caffeine free most of the time. And there's lots of fun flavors and it's calorie free. I know I'm trying to gain weight. Why don't you drink some calories? But I don't like to drink my calories. I like to drink calorie free drinks. So apple cider, that is going to be delicious. And this one I am super excited about. Salted caramel tea. How awesome does that sound? And this one is not caffeine free, but still has, I don't know, I think it has a little bit less caffeine than coffee. I don't know, regardless, I'm going to drink this because it sounds good. So I'll probably make a cup when I get home and let you know how it is. And even though I brought snacks, I saw this snack and decided to buy it. So I'm gonna give it a try. This is Strong Stride Recovery. Never heard of such a thing. Uh, pumpkin Dark Chocolate Bar. Apparently has two full servings of fruits and vegetables, 40 antioxidants, and 10 grams of protein. So that's kind of cool because I don't always like to eat fruits and vegetables. 210 calories, eight fat, 25 carb, 10 grams of protein. 16 grams of sugar. It smells like pumpkin, but also very earthy. <laughs> It smells healthy. That's what it looks like. It's all covered in chocolate, so that's super fun. It's like soft. That's what it looks like on the inside. I like the chewiness. I'm not really getting a very strong pumpkin flavor. I'm not really getting a pumpkin flavor. <laughs> Actually, let's just say that. But I really like it. I like the chocolate, I like the chewiness. I like the flavor that it has. I just wouldn't say it's pumpkin. It's kind of cinnamony. I would call it a cinnamon chocolate bar. And I would buy it again. I think it was like a dollar something. I don't know. So if you see them, buy them. They're good. All right, so that was absolutely awful. Um, she did have a higher temperature. It was up to almost 100.2 and they did have to do another catheter, which is basically where they stick a tube up there and get a urine sample. And she did not like it. It was just awful to see her screaming, 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 and nothing I could do to make it better. But she is sound asleep right now. Um, we do have to go to Giant Eagle. They just decided they're going to treat it as a UTI because it is Friday and they're not going to get the results from the urine until Monday and if it is a UTI it would get a lot worse over the weekend so it's not going to do any harm to her to just treat it so that's what we're going to do keep a close eye on her and they said if she gets any worse or her fever gets any higher than 102 to just take her back to children's so hopefully we are not going back to children's this weekend but we're going to go back to Giant Eagle get her prescription and go home and snuggle all day. So Annabelle is asleep now. I can finally get something to eat, just relaxing, not worried about her so much. But sticking with the peanut butter and jelly theme, like all my snacks were earlier, I'm just gonna have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm not fancy at all. Some people, I guess, would rather have like a big fancy cheese and meat sandwich with all this stuff on it. I don't know. Give me peanut butter and jelly and I am one happy gal. So I am just using this cinnamon raisin swirl peanut butter from peanut butter and company not my all-time favorite but pretty good 
And then I used some sugar-free apricot jelly, which was not a ton of it in there, definitely more peanut butter than jelly on the sandwich. And then I cut it into triangles. When I was a little kid, I'd have four triangles, but since I'm not so little, two triangles will do. I forgot that I said I was going to try this tea. So once again, this is the salted caramel. I have had the apple cider one before, like last season, and it's very good, but I've never had the salted caramel. So, mm, it smells a little caramely maybe. I did add five Splendas and a little bit of um, unsweetened almond milk. It's very, very hot. <laughs> eh, it's good. It tastes maybe a little teeny tiny bit of caramel, but definitely no salted caramel. It's okay. I don't know that I'd buy it again. I would probably just call it caramel tea though, and it probably wouldn't even be as sweet if I hadn't added all the Splenda. So it's good. I guess if you see it, give it a try. Let me know what you think. But I think I'm going to just end the vlog here. Honestly, I'm just not in a real vloggy kind of mood. Um, the good thing is I think Jim's going to be able to come home and not have to go to the football game tonight. So at least we can snuggle and take care of Annabelle together. And I just did just go get the mail and we got a Netflix in the mail. We are going through all of ER. I loved ER when I was younger. Dr. John Carter. Yeah, he was my favorite. Um, but so we're watching all of ER and we're still on season one, but I think we're probably just gonna do that and snuggle Annabelle and cross our fingers and hope that she doesn't get any worse and we don't have to go to children's. So sorry if this was a bit of a downer type video, but once again, that's my life. And I just like sharing it with you guys. So hopefully you enjoy watching it. But once again, give the video a thumbs up, even though it wasn't the most happy fun video ever. But leave me a comment down below, something to read. I like that. And subscribe for more fun or not so fun videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.